This is a 2014 Tesla Model S and uh, uh, you have its proud owner, Frederick, standing right there. So, uh, the story behind uh, this majestic piece of bodgery is uh, that a few years ago, uh, in 2015, a local company uh, wanted to build an electric boat. And this was in the heyday of buying uh, wrecked Teslas and trying to take the entire vehicle to do various EV conversions and stuff. Uh, so this is an absolutely complete sense doors and you know body and stuff. Tesla Model S from uh, 2014, including the battery pack, including the uh, computers, including the entire body AC connected, probably working, we haven't tested it, uh, and uh, a complete wiring loom. And uh, someone's gone through the effort of ripping all of this out of a crushed uh, US market uh, Tesla, uh, which they imported, and uh, they just completely ripped it up. Uh, all of this wiring loom, uh, it used to look roughly like this uh, when it came out of a car. And they've just completely cleaned it out and uh, wired it up on this, uh, well, wooden frame. Uh, you know, it's a US market model because we never got this charge connector here in uh, uh, Europe. Uh, we always had some other kind, if it's a VCCS or some other Tesla special, but we don't have a charger for that. Although this will actually talk to uh, a normal uh, Tesla uh, CCS charger, and we have actually tried charging this thing, and it actually will take a charge uh, amazingly. It took quite a bit of work to get there. Uh, this thing, uh, uh, it, prior to its arriving here, it had been sitting uh, for, I think, seven years or so, uh, tucked away in various warehouses and stuff because they obviously never managed to turn this into a boat. Uh, they ran out of money and somewhere along the line they just lost the drive, uh, the company went bankrupt, there was a bunch of legal proceedings and uh, finally they, they sold uh, this Tesla as well as another one at the auction and uh, Frederick picked both of them up for, shall we say, a reasonable amount of money. Uh, so, we've spent the last few weeks trying to sort through all this and uh, to see if we could actually get it to work. And uh, after a lot of fiddling about, cleaning up wiring looms, fixing the brake sensor, uh, and a uh, lot of computery, hackery type stuff that Frederick's a lot better at than me, uh, we have actually managed to get this thing to power on and run and drive. So, Frederick, would you do the honors of turning on the 12 volts? Just to mention, the most impressive thing perhaps is that the entire coolant system is uh, operational, full of liquids, um, cool and temperate the battery, the charger, the inverter, and the motor. But that's all operational as well. Yeah, yeah, we absolutely have full, full, full coolant system. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, this, <laughs> uh, this is the entire battery pack from the other Tesla, which we've already disassembled. Uh, so, we have a lot of bat battery modules sitting around. But, oh, hang on, let me get to the monitors when I do that, because it's going to power on beautifully. There you go, ready. It's going to take a while. Oh, yeah. First, uh, enable the high voltage. Make it 12 volts. There's the contact is. Could do this artificially, but let's just do the. I'll give it a minute. So there you can see the uh, dash display waking up in factory mode. And here it comes. And we're slowly waking up. This thing is running an ancient version of the software because it's been sitting around <laughs> dead for seven years. And version 5. And then... Flip, flip. Oh, maybe we just need to... It recognizes the key. And there we go. And we are now Press the brake. powered on. Yeah, we have a beautiful brake pedal sensor there, which was also broken, which we fixed last night. If we go into drive, and then push the gas. 
And now, we're driving a Tesla. <laughs> That's not something you see every day. So we're currently doing, what's that? 42 miles per hour? <laughs> oh, they, they changed it. Yeah, th this car, whoa. Almost 90. Good acceleration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This car, it actually came from uh, San Diego where someone crashed it. Hey, can, can you bring up the uh, energy thing? I want to show you, like the energy meter thing on the dashboard. You know, where you can see how, how they were driving before they crashed it. Uh, do we not get... I suppose not. No, uh, it's probably just a matter of the doors open. We need to go to developer mode to get those statistics, I think. Yeah. But uh, you could, uh, when we first powered this on, uh, you had the uh, uh, energy economy meter, a nice graph here, and uh, that just, it spiked up to well over the scale, and then it went down to zero, uh, and uh, someone was probably doing burnout or something, and uh, then they hit a barrier, and then the car <laughs> ended up here. It was just a beautiful show. Uh, so what more? It's that to say about this, really. We've, we have spent quite a lot of time working on this because, as you can see, the entire wiring loom is just uh, completely torn up. Uh, so we have loose connectors everywhere. We have modules hanging <laughs> from the wiring. Uh, and uh, uh, when we got it, uh, the high voltage just, it, it wouldn't work. It, it was just not activating. Uh, it wasn't disconnected, so we've gone through uh, the entire uh, safety circuit. The first responder loop tracked that down, gone through all the high voltage stuff, which they've ch thankfully not chopped up too badly. Uh, they have, uh, I think, extended uh, these HV wires at some point going to the uh, high voltage uh, distribution box D to DC, which you can see uh, lying in there, and it's uh, a spaghetti-like tube of orange wiring uh, and uh, that's basically the only high voltage modification they've done. Uh, whoever was working on this was probably a bit scared of the high voltage stuff so they've uh, thankfully not messed with it uh, more than they have to. Uh, so we, we've been fairly certain of the high voltage side of this vehicle has been basically fine and uh, what's more imp what was uh, the biggest relief was we want to get to the battery talking and the high voltage on because we are scrapping this battery. We're going to rip all the modules out of this because uh, used Tesla Model S batteries as a whole, they're not worth a whole lot. They're worth more as a pallet of modules. Uh, and we wanted to get the BMS talking on this thing. And I don't have it up on the screen right now, but we've actually gotten data out of the BMS. And after seven years of storage, without a charger, without anything, uh, we have 3.44, 3.45 volts in every single cell in this battery, except for one, which is at 3.40, which is... Oh, cool. Let's uh, get out of that and have a look. Yeah, it's probably dropped a bit since we've been uh, playing around with this thing so much, but uh, there you can see every single battery voltage. Now, of course, these are four clusters of, I believe, 144 parallel cells each. Uh, but we have, they, they've certainly dropped down. We're at 3.34-ish, uh, all of them now. And I think, yeah, we have this one 3.32 there, and that's the lowest one. Uh, but this vehicle, aside from like an hour of uh, low current charging, we gave it when we were testing the charger, uh, this has not been charged in uh, seven years, at least. It might not have been charged uh, since uh, it was uh, charged before it crashed in the US back in 2015. Uh, we've also gotten data out of the battery. Uh, ha how many kilowatt hours had you gotten out of this? What's that? 550 kilowatt hours total discharge, so not even 10 full power cycles. Yeah, not even 10 cycles on this battery. So 
aside from the age, this should be a completely virgin battery pack. Uh, so it's going to be very exciting to do some capacity tests on that uh, later on. But uh, yeah, that's basically where we're at uh, with this thing right now. Uh, oh yeah, you can see the beautiful results of a crash there. We don't have. Hey, what are you doing? Putting it in park. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You... Stop. The brakes don't uh, act too well. Yeah, we're, we're just push, pressing that out of, uh, pressing the uh, cylinder out of a caliper there. It's, it's just going to keep spinning until we turn it off, basically, because apparently it's uh, in creep mode and we can't turn that off. But yeah, <laughs> that is an entire, complete, working Tesla Model S from 2014 racked up on a wooden frame. And it runs and drives. I've never seen anything like this before. Huh? Oh, you're gonna, yeah, yeah, you're gonna get the energy meter from a crash. Yeah. <laughs> so they can see, uh, they can see uh, the energy consumption. So uh, this is uh, us now, and this is what was going on before it crashed. Someone went, rum, 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 smash. And uh, that was the end of that. Then, they <laughs> then it was total, then they sold it for scrap. And uh, yeah, someone managed to patch it up and we've now gotten it running again in 2022. Yeah, I'm not sure if, <laughs> how many more videos I'm gonna make of this. I just want to uh, share this completely unique creation with the world be before we dismantle it because sadly, this entire thing is built around the battery down there and uh, we don't have this uh, uh, beautiful uh, uh, room uh, house to work in. We don't have this shop forever. So we really need to get this thing apart soon. So we're going to rip the driver line out. We're going to rip the battery out. We're going to really shrink the entire thing down as much as possible and uh, try to store it somewhere. So all the HV stuff is probably going to go we want to turn this into something a lot more manageable that you can maybe shove around on a pallet lift uh, and uh, sell all the parts that uh, aren't necessary. But hopefully we're going to keep this as like a working Tesla uh, test jig because how could you not? This thing is absolutely amazing. It would be such a shame to completely destroy this thing because it's, it's a working Tesla with complete easy access to literally everything. It's absolutely amazing. It, it's astonishing how much work whoever actually created this thing, turned it into what it is today, must have put into it. It must have been months, if not years of work to just get it to this state. And hopefully we can uh, make that work worth something in the long run. But that's gonna be it. I'm gonna have to Thank you for watching and uh, maybe you'll see the remnants of this thing sometime in the future. But right now, I have absolutely no idea. Cheerio.